Good morning family, I am Virginia, in the video show today we are going to talk about this logo of the Starbucks company, logically we all know that this company is a global giant that has to do with coffee, it was founded in the year 71, obviously today it is the largest chain of coffee shops in the world with thousands of stores in more than 60 countries. The logo of this Starbucks company and its packaging have a unique design that has attracted interest and consumers' attention throughout all these decades. We know the importance of symbols, like Nike and Adidas and others. A logo is basically the face of a company. This Starbucks logo is no different than the other logos, and it is one of the most recognized. What is in this logo is a force. But the current logo of Starbucks is an extremely simplified of the above and previous one, something totally cleaner. Initially Starbucks was not called that name but in the year 71 the three founding partners named it initially in honor of a whaling ship of the classic American mobile. Then the three founding partners opted for changing the name to Starbucks. What really interests us is the original logo of the company. We see the picture of a twin-tailed mermaid. Yes this is a two-tailed mermaid, this goes directly back to what is called the Greek mythology, we all know about gods and demigods, not only from in Greek mythology but also pagan cultures and mythologies, all this refers to this mixture of fallen angels with humans, the worship of the gods was nothing other than the cult of demons, in some cases comics and legends have truth behind them, behind all this is something sinister. It was undoubtedly the enemy that founded all this type of pagan cultures constantly referred to as the worship of false idols and mythology. Mermaids are demonic entities related to water, they are refers as beings of fabric and the elementals of the nature, within the elementals of nature, we have those related to water, those related to the fire, those related to the air, those related to the earth, mermaids are element of nature link with water, the sylphs are link with the air. The goblins are linked with the earth, these demonic entities are linked with the four elements the earth, the mermaids are elementals related to water within Greek mythology, the mermaids attracted the sailors, they seduced them and these sailors ended up being shipwrecked in front of them to the coast, they shipwrecked their boat because of seduction, attraction and hypnosis, in Greek mythology it is said that mermaids attracted these sailors to shipwreck in front of the shores of a South Pacific island that was known as Starbucks Island, then the logo was used by the three founders of the original Starbucks to attract lovers everywhere, and the logo is referred to a kind of seduction using the image of the siren that attracted Sailor with her song and with her seduction, thus the intention of the main use of the mermaids is the subject of seduction, this is this international chain of a famous coffee that has in its logo a mermaid that has two tails, based on an old 16th century Nordic woodcut with its top part uncovered, and the intention was as seductive as the coffee, in order to appeal the mass of people the seduction symbolism is used, this mermaid entity that is a goddess mostly from mythology Greek and Nordic mythology, she is called Melusina, L. They are legends that speak of Melusina especially European legends about medicine, many say that she is the queen of heaven. There are many more things of those that are hidden in plain sight, the Orion logo from the Starbucks suffered a great deal of changes, they are now using a much cleaner design and much less complicated, they added a lot more corporate. Despite the changes that were done it is obviously preserving its essence which is the theme of this two-tailed mermaid, a symbol of seduction, the first logo of 71 featured this topless mermaid that had double tail of fish with her belly fully visible, something much more appealing and shamelessly seductive, and here we see that the design of a logo is a circular ring that surrounds the figure of this two-tailed mermaid and the color used it's a brown palette, alluding precisely to the coffee, from the year 87 the second version of this logo featured this mermaid with the bare body and the siren of free hair, here it was very clear the most focused on what the mermaid is from. Then on in the year 87 incorporates the pentacle the star of five points that refers among other things to wigger and magic, the green color which according to the official version was introduced to represent growth, freshness, uniqueness and prosperity of Starbucks, the reality is that the color green is representing the color of the tails of the mermaids, this creature is not really a mermaid, 
It is actually a mix between mermaid and fairy, this creature has a name, she is called Melusina, and her tails is a mix with snake and fish. Her scales were green, which is a third adaptation of the logo that started a design much cleaner with a close-up view from the same siren. Here the fish tail logo had a green color palette and white with company name mentioned in the mark within the circle with two stars out of five tips on each side. In 2011 the logo was redesigned to celebrate the 40th anniversary of the company and here is amplifies the image of the mermaid and the green color that marks the stars completely disappear. This design was not well received by fans and had to face a lot of criticism.